JC, we're signing off the Trail Finders Challenge Cup campaign this weekend as we host Doncaster. Um, how much are the lads looking to really kind of end it with a positive result this weekend? Um, yeah, we're really excited for the game. Um, obviously, games have been... Uh, hard to come by recently so it's been really fantastic to have this tournament organized for us to play in uh, it's been the perfect kind of like uh introduction for us to prep us for the season uh, this last match kind of it's, it's a big game for us it's a game at home and and it's a chance for us to finish this tournament out with a 100 percent win record and you know that's what we're aiming for yeah, rest weekend last week after that Saracens game. How was it? How good was it to kind of recharge for the big spell of games coming out now, isn't it? Yeah, it's important. Um, it's diff it's going to be a tough run of games, especially with the the ten matches in the champ following on, and and we've got Richmond next week. Uh, but it gives a chance to test everyone in the squad, so everyone's going to get a good a good opportunity to play rugby. Um, obviously, we just want to keep building, and week on week, we want to get better and better, um, and hopefully put ourselves in as good a position as possible to uh, be there at the end of the season. Yeah, let's just look back at that Saris game. Um, how big a statement was that to deliver it, particularly away from home? Um, yeah, it was something that we focused on. Obviously, Saracens coming down from the Premiership, they're, they're going to be looking themselves to, to go straight back up, so we knew it was going to be a big challenge. Um, having played them a couple of weeks before, I think it was good because we kind of got a good read on what they were doing and what they were about. Uh, it was a good chance uh, for us as well to test ourselves and see what we'd been doing in training and see if it worked. Um, and that, it was just another challenge for us to go away and see if we could produce what we've done in training uh, away against a good Saracen side. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Challenge Cup winners, of course. Now, how big a boost is that to the squad ahead of the season just to get a bit of silverware? And it must breed real confidence throughout the squad. Yeah, it's great. Um, there's a good atmosphere in the squad at the moment. Um, lads are enjoying at being out there playing after a long pre season, and uh, it shows that what we've been working on has been, is working. Uh, so, we've picked up the three wins, uh, and obviously, there's one to go, and, and we'd like to close it out with four wins in the campaign. So, the lads are really excited to, to do that on Saturday. Yeah, Doncaster this weekend. What can we expect? From them, obviously, we only played them a few weeks ago, so I guess they'd be relatively familiar. Yeah, I mean, we played them quite a bit, um, especially not only this season, but in seasons gone by. Um, I think a lot of the lads that have, have played at Ealing for a long time know quite a, uh, or have a few familiar faces in the Doncaster squad. Um, but they produced they've produced some really good performances. It was a tough game up for us up in Doncaster. Uh, they made quite a few changes for their fixture against Saracens last week and they gave Saracens a real run for their money so we're expecting the same this weekend. Um, it's going to be a hard, a hard match, especially up front, um, and it's one that we're looking forward to. Is there a bit of a focus on maybe shoring up defensively after that second half at Castle Park when they scored a few tries? In there? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you can see if they're a team that if, if they get on the front foot and they're playing confident rugby, then they can run one, two, three tries in. Obviously, that's something that we'd like to avoid happening. Um, so there has been a focus on our defence and also just playing consistently for the full 80 minutes. Yeah, just for yourself, um, you went the full 80 against Saracens. How good is it to be back involved? Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Um, it's been a long time. Um, Obviously, with the last season being called off, and, and then I was injured during pre-season, so it was nice to be back out playing again. Um, and it's it's certainly been a long pre-season, so I'm finally away from Tom McLaughlin's gym program. Um, talk to us about that dynamic in the second row with Bobby as well. It's quite a uh, quite a nice combination, isn't it? Yeah, Bobby's been a great addition. He's he's certainly hit the ground running. Um, you know, he's a good player. Um, I played against him before I came to the club when he was playing in South Africa and he, he was a big threat for the Kings when he played for them. Um, so it's good to have him on board. Uh, he's brought a lot of enthusiasm uh, and his performances have been really good. Yeah, and just finally, just obviously Richmond next week in a friendly and then straight into the championship. Um, just sum up kind of the excitement in the group at the moment, obviously the fact that, that we have got the championship up and running again. I think lads are really happy to see that that's finally been decided. Uh, it's quite difficult as a player where you hear rumours all over the place, but you're not really sure what to believe. Uh, but now, you know, it's set in stone that it is going ahead. Uh, you know, we see other, other teams having warm-up games in preparation for it as well. So it gives us something to a real target to aim for, um, and it's something that everyone's really excited for.